Ja. Dat doet er nu ook een beetje. Ik
just came back from the geometra to discuss the, the build of the workshop which is going to be here and uh, last week it wasn't looking good because uh, this is farmland and then you're not allowed to build if you're not a farmer uh, but that didn't appear to be true because the houses are categorized as A4 A is residential most of the cabins you see around are actually categorized as C which is agricultural and then you're only allowed to live and work there if you're a farmer um, but here that's not the case I can build something Bassi Fabricata Fabricati which means a storage place or a garage um, up till 25 square meters I can build which is more than enough not higher than 3 meters and um, and that's the same for wood storage the, the rules kind of change there also for wood storage you need a building permit to build something uh, and then the roof needs to be the same as the existing buildings which is stone uh, and for the wood storage it's also allowed to do and then same for the garage you could also do steel for a more economical build so uh, la miera uh, corrugated steel basically what's also on the chicken coop I was actually planning to do uh, wood shingles I think it would be beautiful so I'm, they're gonna reach out to the commune to ask if that is allowed and then I have to get a, a building permit. Um, the initial drawings you've seen were a very small shed of 12 square meters. Because my idea was if I'm going to make something very small, I might not need a building permit. But for anything structural that is staying here permanently, it needs to have a permit. So I'll probably build something slightly bigger. But then, if it needs a stone roof, it's going to be a, a big build because you need a structure that is about 10 times stronger as a, a lighter uh, roof. So it's going to cost a lot more um, in terms of wood and stone because I can, I can scavenge some stone here from the property but not, uh, not for an entire roof. I would need to get to buy it from the quarry. So that is going to be a big project, I have to think about that, but if I look in the future, say five years from now when everything here is finished, this would be my main living space, that would be like a studio space where I can just work on paintings for example, and it would be a space where people could live like if I have visitors, they could sleep there. And then this up here would be a workshop for woodworking or steel work or anything I want to do. And then it's nice to have a nice big uh, workshop. Um, where I have space for my tools, a uh, big workbench, just the space and the light and all the Just a pleasant space other than just a tiny workshop. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to think about that the coming weeks and then... Uh, make drawings and make a plan I could imagine that being a really nice workspace though not just for woodworking of any kind um, but also as a living area outdoors. Uh, if I think about sort of extending the experience that I had up there with the outdoor kitchen and the tent, where I spent a lot of time outside, with an amazing view, which is very beautiful. Some of that I have less now. I have now a lot of comfort inside the cabin, but these cabins you have to see as shelters other than homes as we have them now where we have a lot of space and a lot of light from windows. You know, the windows are small. When it is rough out here, I feel very comfortable inside you know, because it's cozy and protected. And um, but if you are working on your computer for days, for example, which might be in the future, you, you do get cabin fever after a while. Uh, and the reason I came here was to spend more time outside in nature 
So I can imagine when you're working here, there should be an outdoor kitchen, maybe even here. When you make a coffee and you take a break, you don't have to go inside, but you can stay outside. Especially with days like these when it's really nice outside and it's half February, right? Really nice and calm weather. And even a little space where you can sit out of the sun uh, and out of the rain or wind with your laptop if you want to work. So you have power there, a place to sit and enjoy the scenery uh, without having to spend time in the cabin the entire day. So just thinking out loud how I see this space come to life in the future.
So these gaps are here for uh, to let the hot air through. There's a lot of heat coming from the back of the stove. And um, I think I can put a little laundry rack there because when I put a towel there it dries instantly. It's quite warm. Bit of a rough job, I made a few mistakes. Um, but when I sand this down it will look acceptable from the top. Um, yeah, you have to measure everything very precisely. Draw everything out. I don't have much experience with uh, that router, so uh, some uh, beginner's mistakes, but it's okay. A lot of snow coming next week, uh, Monday and Tuesday I think it's going to snow. So the chimney is back for a few days because um, I'm still waiting for the snow change for the Mitsubishi. Uh, and it doesn't have winter tires so I don't trust it in the snow. Uh, it's also at the garage right now because it needs to uh, have a tow bar. It doesn't didn't have that so they're installing that. But. Um, yeah, it's been a very mild winter, uh, but it looks like it's going to be uh, a white world next week. So I picked up some bags of cement. I'm going to put all the stones inside as much as I can, so I can just work inside next week. Um, might get pretty bad, but you never know. 